Hello everyone once again. Finally got uh, my new shirt and hat that I ordered at like the beginning of all of this and so I'm pretty psyched. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, so I want to show this off. Uh, worship. What we're doing, doing this devotional, it is worship. And then there's a little tag at the bottom here that just reads product of grace. It's like, hey, I like it. Fits me. Then famous enough. And then uh, I'm famous enough because I'm known by God. I don't need to reach all this other sort of high fame and all that jazz. So I don't know. I like it. I think um, especially the hat. I really like the hat. Uh, it's pretty good quality. I think it looks nice. Um, nice way to mix it up but just a little bit and it's different from some of my uh, other hats I got a lot of sports and stuff like that but I don't know I like this I think it's pretty hot uh, so it is the 28th only a few days left of this month but we're gonna get started in Jesus is calling it's a little bit cool out today. I was hoping to, to hit the trails again. Um, I did make a little video of um, a, a trail that I found that was open in Orangeville. Um, it's definitely possible to social distance, physical distance, while uh, being out and about and exploring our great town here. Um, but yeah, without further ado, April 28th, Jesus is calling. As you look into the day that stretches out before you, you see many choice points along the way. A myriad of possibilities. These choices present, uh, these choices present, present, presence can uh, confuse you. Draw your mind back to the threshold of this day where I stand beside you lovingly preparing you for what is ahead you must make your choices on you must make your choices one at a time since each is contingent upon the decision that precedes it instead of trying to create a mental map of your path through this day focus on my loving presence with you I will equip you as you go so that you can handle whatever comes your way. Trust me to supply what you need when you need it. Uh, and that was based off of three Bible verses. Uh, the first one, because the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for his compassion never fails. There are new, uh, they are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness, I say to myself. The Lord is my portion, therefore I will wait for him. The Lord is good to those who hope, whose hope is in him. To the one who seeks him, it is good to wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. Lamentations 3, 22-26 Then, in his heart a man plans his course, but the Lord determines his steps. Proverbs 16, 9 and then, hey Aaron, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. Psalm 34, 8. Um, yeah. uh, it's, I agree with this one a whole lot more than the one from yesterday. Um, and a lot of people... Um, and start looking at God, they ask questions like, you know, how can I find, how can I discover God's will for my life? And I'm a big believer that um, God is more interested in the little decisions that you make each and every day rather than those big kind of, who am I going to marry? What job am I going to have? Where am I going to live? It's how do you make the small decisions each day that will eventually help guide you in those things. So instead of being worrying and focused on what God has planned for you for these big things, focus on how can you act as if God is with you, because he is, in each moment. How can you make decisions 
that are closer to his each moment to moment to moment. I think that is how you discover those big things. It's with focusing on acting properly in the small things. It is a little bit cold out here today, so I think I'm going to make this one kind of quick because uh, I am colder than I was anticipating it. I was like, oh, the weather looks like it'll be warm. It's about what it was yesterday. But without the sun, it is a lot colder. Um, hopefully the wind isn't too bad. Uh, oh. Uh, no, wrong part of the Bible. So it is uh, the 28th, so we're going to start reading uh, again, Proverbs 28. Hopefully you had a chance to uh, turn to it. Uh, so Proverbs 28. The wicked run away when no one is chasing them, but the godly are as bold as lions. When there is moral rot within the nations, its government topples easy, but wise and knowledgeable leaders bring stability. A poor person who oppresses the poor is like a pounding rain that destroys the crops. To reject the law is to praise the wicked. To obey the law is to fight them. Better to be poor and honest than dishonest and rich. Young people who obey the law are wise. Those with wild friends bring shame to their parents. Income from charging high interest rates will end up in the pocket of someone who is kind to the poor. God detests the prayers of a person who ignores the law. Those who lead good people along an evil path will fall into their own trap, but the honest will inherit good things. Rich people may think they are wise, but a poor person with discernment can see right through them. When the godly succeed, everyone is glad. When the wicked take charge, people go into hiding. People who conceal their sins will not prosper, but if they confess and turn from them, they will receive mercy. Blessed are those who fear to do wrong, but the stubborn are headed for serious trouble. A wicked ruler is as dangerous to the poor as a roaring lion or an attacking bear. A ruler with no understanding will oppress his people, but one who hates corruption will have a long life. A murderer's tormented conscience will drive him to the grave. Don't protect him. The blameless will be rescued from harm, but the crooked will be suddenly destroyed. A hard work worker has plenty of food, but a person who chases fantasies ends up in poverty. The trustworthy person will get rich, will get a rich reward, but the person who wants a quick riches will get into trouble. Showing a uh, part partitely, part, wow. Eh, showing. I don't know what that word is. I can't read it. Sometimes I read it. Uh, part tail itty, partility is never good. So. Someone go and read that word. I cannot comprehend it, that this morning for some reason. Um, it's never good. Yet some will do wrong for mere, for a mere piece of bread. Greedy people try to get rich, but don't realize they're headed for poverty. In the end, people appreciate honest criticism far more than flattery. Anyone who steals from his father and mother and says, what's wrong with that, is no better than a murderer. Greed causes fighting, trusting the Lord leads to prosperity. Those who trust their own insight are foolish, but anyone who walks in wisdom is safe. Whoever gives to the poor will lack nothing, but those who close their eyes to poverty will be crushed. When the wicked take charge, people go into hiding. When the wicked meet disaster, the godly flourish. Uh, hopefully something said out to you today. Um, but uh, Proverbs 28, 13 is actually, uh, has references, the New Testament references back to it. 
So I'll, I'll read Proverbs 13 again. People who conceal their sin will not prosper, but if they confess and turn from them, they will receive mercy. So in 1 John 7 and 9 um, is where it refers back to. So Proverbs 20 and 13, only when we confess our sins do we receive mercy from God. And the Apostle John tells us that if we confess our sins to Jesus, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all wickedness. Um, so that's um, I do. As you guys just got to witness, I'm not a strong reader. Um, and one of the things I normally would do is I'd be like, ah, oh, just like that word is just totally escaping my head. I cannot think of it. I can't even like sound it out properly in a way that makes sense to me at the moment. Um, even though I'm sure it's just a very simple word, I, I would put it into Google and then it would like break down how, how to pronounce it and the definition. And that's normally what I would do. Uh, I can't do that right now cause, uh, I'm on my phone. Um, so I'm sorry for that, but it's okay not to be perfect. Um, is one of those other things, right? Just trust what God's, uh, doing and, uh, know that he's with us. Um, and, you know, uh, our weaknesses, uh, can, God can use our weaknesses to, to do some pretty miraculous things. Um, so I am not afraid to give God my, my best and my worst. Um, and my reading sometimes is my worst and I'm giving it to you guys. Uh, so thank you for joining me today. Um, but, uh, yeah, um, Hopefully uh, something jumped out at you. That whole like confessing your sins, I think, is a really important part. And Jesus does echo it later on. Uh, and then, yeah, there's a lot about like corruption and leadership, and um, you know, like God detests the prayers of a person who ignores the law, and it's walking. I think today's theme of the day is walk with God. Focus on the little things and that'll help us make way for the bigger things like what the devotion said, but a lot of Proverbs today also seem to go along with that. So um, that, I guess, is my challenge with you today. Uh, if you are presented with a situation, um, there's that cheesy saying, what would Jesus do? But, um, maybe uh, you can find yourself in that situation and can you be like how can God help me through this? How can I act more like how Christ would I react if he were in my place right now? And try to make those small movements because one you know, God doesn't want you to go into debt. He wants you to honor your relationships. He wants you to, to love him and to love your neighbor as yourself. He wants you to to actually you know love yourself as well. But that doesn't. There's a nice little balance that has to happen there. And depending on where you are on the spectrum, you could be like, yeah, that's right, I'm awesome. But then, are you putting yourself above those that are around you? Are you putting yourselves above? Um, the people that you disagree with from that other country, then are you really loving your neighbor as yourself? Um, and then other people might go, well, I hate myself, so I get to hate everybody. And that's not right either. Um, there needs to be a bit more of a balance. And with things like this, with face, uh, with, you know, likes, comments, all that sort of jazz, it can be really easy to um, get caught up in the numbers and the numbers can be exciting but this right here what we're doing is a form of worship when I start looking up at the numbers which I will confess I have done a couple times and it can be a little bit ego filling and when I'm feeling low because there might not be a whole lot of numbers I gotta remind myself that I'm famous enough because I'm known by God anyways I like that I like the shirt 
Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you guys want me to pray for you, please leave a comment. Or if you have any questions about what we read today, uh, you can send me a private message. Um, I'm happy to, to work through it with you. Uh, I definitely don't have all the answers, but I love trying to find them. Uh, so, yeah. Thank you very much. Have a great day. God bless. Oh, I didn't pray. Doi. I almost didn't pray. All right. I'm not going to leave yet. I'm going to pray first. So... Let's walk down by the river. It's a little bit more windy over here though, so yeah. Definitely cooler with the rain. Um, and the wind that hit. Uh, I pray that we can find your will for our lives by not focusing on the big things, but focusing on the little things, the things that are moment to moment for everyone that's going through a really hard time right now. For all the front care workers that are struggling. I pray that you can um, use the kind words and Facebook posts and everything to inspire them to keep on going. From truck drivers, train drivers, construction workers, police officers, nurses, doctors, PSWs, and so, so much more. Like, I, I always feel like the list go on and on and on, and especially our government officials, as they decide kind of what to do next. I pray that we don't move so quickly that we open up things that we shouldn't. You know, protect us. Help us act wisely, Lord. And yeah, thank you very much. Amen. Alright guys, thank you once again. I bid you all a good day, and yeah, good day, God bless.